Welcome to our one minute web component where we're going to define a custom element for HTML in less than a minute. If you have a timer, start it now. So there we go, that was 30 seconds. Uh, so we could have actually made two web components, but I think we'll stop right there. At a minimum, this is what it takes to create, to define a custom element in HTML, to register that with the browser's HTML parser at a specific tag name, and to tell it when this element is connected to the document, this is what you do with it. Now, this code is live, so it doesn't matter whether this already existed in HTML or whether we're adding it. If we were to add a new one, it would get upgraded the same way. So every time the HTML parser parses an element that it has a built-in definition for, it's basically doing all of these different things. We have the chance to define our own. So if I were to do document body append document create element, custom element, it has added our custom element and been upgraded. And there's nothing more to it, no other details. Uh, the browser itself understands what this element is and how to work with it. So that is a super brief crash course into defining custom elements in HTML, and this works in all browsers today. Um, you can go a lot deeper into web components, including building the most complex things you've ever seen in a web browser. But on the simple end, it is very simple. Hope you have a great day.